Um, so Jobas Kulumi English, I'm, I'm guessing that means we're captured and we dress mm. like English blokes. Mm. What does what does captured and selling out mean to you? This is not an interview. Well, thanks for having me, even if it's not an interview. Sure. I just get a appreciate speaking to to God Penwell. <laughs> what does selling out mean to you? What does <laughs> what does selling out mean? As we, we we've spoken about this. Um my sister, your sister, and I had a lacquer laugh because we were laughing at uh, you being called a sellout. Mm. Um, and I get called a sellout a lot these days. Yeah. So, so we had a, a great time reading your, your, your tweets. We had a lot of uh, back and forth just chats around what is a sellout. And, you know, we've spoken about it. And Minangas. What I, do you mean, I, I don't know what a sellout is these days. You know, um, what was it before? When we speak about the ANC, you know, Nelson Mandela, because that's normally the classic it, example it, it, in this it, country. It was a person who I believe went against the mandate that was set. So if we then agree, Uti, we're going to go have Nando's, you and I. Okay. And then you decide to go and have KFC. Sure. Then you sold out to a mandate. Okay. You know? So that's how I assumed it to be. Sure. But if I look at it in today's time, before you go to today, so it's, it's pretty clear or Mandela and the ANC or Oliver Tambo, they had mm. a mandate, Freedom Charter. Okay. And they said to Aba and to guys, let's galvanize and go and win liberation. Yeah. And when they won liberation, yeah, they went against that mandate, which they told people. People's lives were lost for that mandate. And then they went and they changed last did, minute. Did, did they go against that mandate? But I'm saying from selling out, if that's if that's your definition, we're saying Guti, if they did that. Or if, that's the, selling if out. the mandate was X and then they did decide sure. to go Y, then yes. Okay, please Mila, carry on. Mila, my thing is what was the mandate? Yeah, when, we can when, discuss yes, that. Yes, when people talk about the freedom charts and are you talking from a point where you actually know or you're just guessing what it was? No, it's written down. You know, no, I'm saying when people Okay. When ooh, Jabulo Nunkos Nati, when they say Guti, he went against Freedom Charter. Yeah. Do you know Guti Tini Freedom Charter for him to have gone against it? Yeah. Yeah, you understand things are yeah. you know, Most so, people are politically and historically illiterate, yeah. unfortunately. So when you're going to say Umandela sold out, of which this was my point for the longest time of my life, Guti Mandela such a sellout, 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 sellout. Mm. And then when I got older, now my asked that question, Guti, what is the sell what does that mean he sold out? Mm. You know. Him taking the left turn, how did how did it result for the country versus if he went right the way that my young, passionate, emotional mind wanted him to go? Mm. How would that have looked out? You know? So Manji, if I had a choice and I could have said, okay, Mandela Tatu left, Mandela Tatu right, which one would I have suggested? Mm. And if I said no, who right, low left, who tati, does that mean I'm also a sellout? You are saying what in today's modern terms. You find yourself questioning what is selling yeah, out. Yeah, because I... It I, used to be mandate I, if you I, go against the mandate. I don't know what it is now, you know, because it's a, it's a term that is used by Tina as black people mm. a lot. A lot. Gutus Banbani sold out. Sold out to the black cause. What's the black cause? Do you not know as a I, black I, person? I, I, I don't. Are I, you, are I, you I, being I, genuine? I'm being genuine, Lungan, because by so proudly South African, ne? so sure. when you go and you sell T-shirts... Sure. And you're a black entrepreneur and you're selling t-shirts and you want me to spy your t-shirts because they're black, ne? proudly black. I support you and I buy your t-shirts. Mm. I've done that. Can't you know your t-shirts, you bought them from Chinatown or China City, whatever it is. Yeah. Like, am I not supporting them indirectly through you? You're not because you're buying from me. And I hear what you're saying. Of which you're buying from so them. So you didn't, you didn't sell out. I sold out. So I mean, am I not supporting them in what I'm doing. I need to, then I find that out. That's an interesting question because now I'm, I'm thinking if we're going to say Nelson Mandela, Zuma, Ramaphosa, Mutlan, Tembegi sold out as the ANC, mm. but then you vote ANC and I you, apply for my tender that for, I know applying. and I benefit applying. from. You call them a sellout, but you vote for the sellouts is what you're saying. So sure. he's like, no, I'm voting for a black leader. Yeah. The fact that he's got white funders, sure. I don't care. So by you're saying by association, you yeah, also because, be, be, because you the one that's calling him a sellout. I mean, when I'm 1990 when Mandela was free, you said this guy sold us out. Mm. Then 94 came, and then you voted for him. 
So once I know what you buy your t-shirts from Chinatown, and then you come back and you're like, hey, face, I've got a different t-shirt, uh, uh, and I still, what does that say about me? I'm asking this sense. You asked a very important question of what is the black cause? Yeah. Would you like to give it a shot? Or what, uh, or what yeah. you think it was before you became so so what what, what 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 I thought I was in my earlier twenties later teens where I thought I was black conscious yeah yeah one versus what I am now <clears throat> I thought it was the coming together of the community the black community yeah one and us black building being a race black skin. being a race a skin okay. yeah one um black South African let's just refer it back to us like South Africa black South African where we come together. And we build our own structures from our schools to our stores to our what what our hospitals. That was the black agenda. These are European structures. These are European structures, yeah. Okay. But within a that is built by us. Okay. For us and to push our own narrative. Fubu. 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 For us by us. So that when we're complaining about school systems, we know we built them from the ground up. You know, and it's not a curriculum that we say we got from eh, 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 eh. Mm. It's our curriculum that we set down and structured that will benefit us. What European do, institutions using an alphabet that was imported. Yes. But, but I'm speaking not even our look, indigenous I'm, I'm, languages. I'm, I'm talking to you now. This is a 22-year-old speaking to you. Okay. So now I'm going through all of those things and I'm saying, this is, and anyone who doesn't come within this community or Lento that we're saying is the black agenda, if you then decide to go to school Y or school white party that is pro-white, pro this, pro that, pro that, you you are a sellout. If, okay. we, if we're building a store that is by us, for us, mm. and then you decide to go buy at their store, mm. you're a sellout. Yeah, but, so that's how I always had seen it. Yeah. Yeah, when I, even the music that you listen to, you know, if you listen to or oh, 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 Avril Lavigne, he was a skater boy, sellout. <laughs> we, we sell out because when a fall like, red hot chili peppers and limp biscuit limp biscuit you're a sellout yeah, yeah. one because when a, you need to be listening to Maskandi, you need to be listening to you're actually limp 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 yeah, well, that's what you need to be listening to so that was always my thing would see if i'm not pushing and building in this community and i decide to go out i'm a sellout so why are you confused today what what changed from that because the actually limp went and went to a white music school and Mamfundisa, a white instrument, and played white yabona, uh, notes, and then comes back and he uses it here. So, why do you call it a white instrument and white well, notes? Well, I don't know what he, us as black people, built the guitar. I, I, I don't have that information. Because you know, of how you've been educated? Because of how I've been educated. Woody, it was from them. You know, so if I look at what we had as forms of instruments from what we've been told, including mm. by black people, so born they had things like guitars so you use what you found from the white community that's fine mm. you great ne? I, I I use it I'm a sellout so I mean, at school when I play in the band and I play trombone you're playing a white instrument yeah instead of he's fine though mm. he's fine I play the trombone, I'm a sellout. Mm. He plays the guitar, he's fine. Do you know what it means to be black? I Especially no in idea. 2022? No, no, I don't know what it means to be black. In Is it not just skin? It, it, it can't just be skin. Because, I mean, again, I used to just refer to skin. I used to refer to the language. Mm. And now we're in a space where there's people um, who can't speak the language. The, the, the oh, African you, language. Oh, you speak English, but you're not British. But I'm not British. You know? And you're not white. And I'm not white. But because of the way that I sound yeah. or where I live or the fact that I love Malva pudding and custard. Mm. So is the fact that I'm black, my skin tone and the fact that was Why is skin not enough? Because I, I asked this because South Africa comes from a history of apartheid. Yeah. And with apartheid, it was skin. It wasn't language. Mm. It wasn't culture. They can call it whatever, but literally, the only criteria was your skin and your race. Nothing further. You could have been the whitest black man. The 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 thing is that when I look at Lunjenga Manje, Tina, in Lentole, we are we are colorism in the black community is a huge thing, and the closer to white, I guess, the more you are celebrated. So for me to just look at it from a purely skin point, um, I'm not saying skin doesn't play a huge role. I'm just saying for me to look at it purely from there, 
almost seems like selling out selling out you know um there are people who are extremely light there are people who are extremely dark baninga abantu mining bazi who are as dark as the night but the way that they articulate or the way they see life the way they it only ticks the white checklist mm. you know it doesn't speak to any black narrative you know at all if i had to split it by the skin why is skin not enough to you because why do you want more be, because i need to going back to the black agenda mm. your skin doesn't necessarily mean that you are pushing this black agenda there was a lot to it so the reason why i'd call a person a sellout is not because purely because their skin is ah it's because ubuena mm. being a black south african which speaks to let's say a checklist of five different things mm. you know ubuena is not doing what we would like to do as so, a black so agenda so could it could it be in your definition that a a white skinned person could help fight a black agenda root first joe slovo there has been many mm. that fought and pushed towards that black agenda yeah you understand um but then there's also been many again in my 22 year old self back then who were purely black but sold out for personal reasons what do you think people should be focusing on currently from a black identity black cause even if we need those things at all if it's more than skin to you should we be parking skin and going to something else The thing is that for me it might be more than skin but it doesn't change like that you should see there's many people that still see me as black purely from a skin point. Yeah. You know, and I don't work in a silo, I don't live in a silo. So I might say it's more than skin, but to many they just skin is more than enough. It's like pillow bone. Mm. Yeah, bone. So when someone says to me what does it mean to be let's say African? Mm. I will say Uguti, you need to be first generation born raised in africa you need to be able to speak a language that is indigenous to africa ah, ah, ah. and you need to be black you know but i ain't got come to america that say the african but so give me the way that i view it as my criteria it might not be like her or his or what 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 is criteria so what do we need to focus on as me what i would need to focus on i i think I have sold out to the black agenda from what 15 years ago Penson used to think. Yeah, you're, you're not working for the black community. I am, but not that agenda that I used to think about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what I thought the black agenda was 15 years ago is not what I think it should be now. I think it should be yes, people that look like me in terms of skin tone and you know, might speak a language slightly different from mine. Mm. Um, but what I can see is that people that look like me have similar traits to me, have a certain level of ubnzima or challenges mm. that they can't or they are struggling with purely because they look like me a shared struggle a shared struggle so even though your mindset is different even though you grew up in sc- you went to school x or y mm. but purely because you look like me to other people mm. they will close certain doors so give me that's how i see the black struggle now with how can people that look like me mm. and share similar values come together so that we can either build or go through certain doors that have been closed before do, do you think it's fair that a black skinned child is forced into this mandate by society from birth because if we're speaking let's say selling out mm. you're born into a south africa where the supposed black sellouts mm. they've created a supreme law of non-racialism we're a non-racialist country and if you're a south african you can't be like ah oh, i'm racist you're like but your country by birth so, so why can't black people Or why are they rather forced into this mandate and if we want to say they can liberate themselves mm. from it what would that look like so give me there has to be a level of being pressured into it purely because should things go well you're going to benefit yeah one and not necessarily good you might want to benefit mm. you will benefit because of how others will see you how others will treat you but you, you don't know? care about that You, 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 is that not you, enough can you, i not have my you, own identity you may not care but you will reap the rewards mm. then what you need to do like a pretty girl sitting outside of a club and gets free bottles she needs to then say whoa don't give me let me pay full amount mm. so if you are benefiting from your zuluness yeah and you're going in spaces and there's a privilege because of that you who doesn't want to benefit say whoa 
treat me like that person, that person, that person. Mm. Then then I'll understand you a lot more. But don't tell me what to you don't like X, Y, but then you you enjoy the benefits from it. Mm. Yeah, but, and that's that's my thing. We'll see, okay, so we're pushing a 2022 black agenda, which does not look like a 1992 black agenda mm. to me. That 2022 black agenda will benefit a community. Mm. That community, their kids need to be in some form roped in. Because I don't want it to a point where I mean, I'm pushing a narrative, my kids hate that narrative, they don't want to push the narrative, but they benefit. Do you feel the same when it comes to blackness as you do with um, nationality, religion, maybe even language? Yeah. That there may be a benefit, Excuse et cetera, et cetera. Me. Yeah, of course. And what would be the supreme identity in this country? So it, it, it all starts... I know people say, oh, we're all part of a human race, Ben, to stop your... Okay, but it never starts there in terms of how we see each other. Mm. It always starts with your immediate family. Mm. You know, so with your immediate family. I don't know if I'm going to be answering your question right. So my whole thing is let's let, let, let's focus on your, your immediate family or self, from self to immediate family, from there, community, town, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. So the way that I run my household will benefit my kids. I'm mm -hmm. not saying, Wuti, I don't want to help your household. I'm just saying, Wuti, I want to focus on creating the best environment for myself and my nucleus. Mm. Yeah? Once that has happened mm. and we have an identity of what it means to be us as mm. Umdin, then we're going to go into the next step of your complex, you know, be part of the board or whatever the case is and have set rules have a sticker on your car. Mm. Once you have that identity, your town, your region, your la, 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 la. Mm. And people will see you, you know, people will see that you stay in Bryanston because of your sticker or whatever or your GP number plate, you know. So I, I don't want to just blur those lines, if I can call it that, by just saying, Guti, there's no religion or cliques within a religion or a nationality or whatever. Mm. The way that we view people from... Zambia is not the same way that we view people from Nigeria. Mm. You know, we don't just say, oh, we're all, Ni we're all Africans. Africans. We, we don't do that. You know, the way that we see people from Morocco is mm. not the same way that we see people from Lesotho. Mm. You know, so we can lie to ourselves and say we do, but we don't. I don't view religion the same as well. Do you have a view on South African politics? No, I'm very anti-South African politics. Anti? Anti. What does that mean? It means I don't have faith in it. I don't have faith in the, the political system. Mm. I don't prefer uh, the, 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 the carpet party, political party versus the curtain political party versus the roof political party. Are you I, not voting 2024? No, I, I, I will. I'm voting just to disrupt. What does that mean? It means, Uguti, there's no one that I have faith in. Are you going to spoil your ballot? Is that what you're saying? I'm going to spoil my ballot or a day, days leading up to that. If someone is good enough to convince me to give them that vote, in a week. I'll do that. In, in, a, in a minute. If I'm standing in the line there and someone whispers something that makes sense outside of the big political parties, I'll just put my vote there. How dangerous is that? Um, I'm doing whatever it takes to, for the big parties that I have lost faith in. All of them. By I, all of them, I mean the, there's probably three or four. Those three or four? I don't you're, have any You're not voting for them. I'm not voting for them. Anyone but them. Anyone but them. If it means I need to spoil my ballot, if that if if someone can explain who's spoiling your ballot has more of a say, mm. then then I'll spoil my ballot. What what would convince you to vote for one of the big let's call them the big three, which is the ANC, the DA, and the EFF? No, nothing right now. There's 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 not one thing that can convince me. As I've never heard, we've got friends in the political spaces. Uh, we, we've nev I have never heard a single person ever in my life who's saying, hey, I want to get into politics. Hey, why? Because I want to help people. I want to serve. I want to serve. I've never heard that. I've always heard for number 10, they want power, they want influence. Or so, at least a job and a salary. Or a job and a salary, of which I haven't even heard that. Hmm. If I could hear people who are saying they want to get into politics because they want a job and a salary hmm. and feed their kids and then can buy a car, whatever the case hmm. is, if I could hear that, I'd be more 
okay to politics. Every last person that I've ever heard that wants to get into politics is for money. Mm. You wake up tomorrow morning and uh, you've got the infinity gauntlet, mm. yeah, Thanos, mm. and you're given a chance to run this country, if not this continent. <laughs> What is what is your uh, vision for that? Abantu bazo tini sexy, stingy, homo what what? Abantu bazo niga wanka ma labeli nga wafun. Um, you want to make Africa great again? I want to make South Africa great again. It was um, great when Amapuno were in charge and blacks were just labor. No, I, I I I just want to make it great. I don't know about again. So my my whole approach to making a country great starts with self, and I think we are so busy pointing and judging. We were driving back from Newcastle and we were, had a conversation about relationships. I don't know if you remember that. Hit me. Um, and I'd like to touch around that mm. before we go, because it, it speaks to the same thing. Okay. So the discussion around the car was relationships are challenging and they're difficult. Mm. And my whole Ro- say- Romantic relationships. Romantic relationships. I'm okay. And I was like, I don't think relationships are difficult at all. I think they are easy. Tina, we bring our own toxicity. Mina, as a guy, in Tanana Nusisi, I bring in my own negatives into the relationship. Baggage. My baggage. And I, and I just, for the sake of the conversation, broke it down into, let's say, five points. So from a physical health, um, mental, finance. finance, spiritual morality, uh, what what was the other one? Psy- psychological health, and I broke. You've already it. mentioned mental health, so it's yeah, probably but I, something I, else. I split it into two. Okay, I split the psychological part versus the mental part. You'll explain. So the mental part was more around what is your diet? What are you consuming on YouTube? What are you consuming on Instagram? Mm. So give me the mental part was what are you doing to grow from a mental point? Are you reading the right books mm. or are you just? searching girls that are twerking. Okay. Is that your mental diet? Versus the psychological part is, how do you feel when you wake up? That Monday morning, are you anxious? Are you depressed? Are you suicidal? Okay. You know, so that's how I try to split it. Okay. Physical, we get it. People, people, what they're eating, eat do the band mus. no diabetes, no out. Then the morality. And the way, money. The morality. Oh, money is a big one. No, but just the, the morality, you, people, we get into politics, for immoral reasons, mm. you know. So people go into a space with all these immoral things that they brought from their past into this relationship, you know. So as a result, the relationship struggle. As a result, your household struggles. Not because the household is so bad, it's because you, excuse, as number one, you struggle. Mm. You are this toxic person. You get into another space with another toxic people, then you have kids. You've taken two horrible people who are not working on themselves, Mm. who are blaming everyone. She's blaming you, you're blaming her. People are blaming, uh uh-uh. You come together, you uh, you get married purely because of religious reasons. Or cultural. Or cultural, that you might not understand fully. So you're doing it just because, which is not a positive in my opinion. In Dumong, I understand and you just do it because. Mm. So now you do it, you put your kids in, you raise your kids based on what TV tells you or whatever tells you, which again Mm. is another minus. That household is, is, a, is a house built on quicksand. Mm. You know, you take that house that is built on quicksand and then you put it in a complex with other houses built on quicksand. You know, how does that look? How does that look where, excuse me, in my complex, there's some amazing cars. Mm. I look at these cars, I'm like, wow. And then when ESCOM hits and it's dark for everyone, I'm like, can we come together and have solar panels? Mm. where we can have at most basic just lights mm. can we come together and because i when i look i'm thinking people can afford maybe you know if i made just njimang akel but i realize guti because of how each individual home is run and the negatives around it as a complex we will struggle to come together so the relationships between families the relationships with families are going to be challenging mm. and difficult so what does that tell me about the area in which i live in the neighborhood the neighborhood what does that tell me about the greater Joburg, mm. Gauteng, and so on and so forth? Mm. So if I was present for a day, my entire, well, not even for a day, if I had a term, my whole thing would be around, let's work on the individual. Mm. One of the things that I respect and love about Malem is when he lost weight. Mm. That, that act, that single act, yeah. is, I've had more respect for him in that act 
than a thousand other political leaders. Mm. Because you know, he said, I'm gonna fix me first. Okay. You know, and I can I can see that. I can ah, I love that. He went to school, he got his qualifications. Perfect. He got married. I, I, I will never stop respecting that. Personal development. Be, because I saw that personal development. So mm. I understand which this person mentally is about growth. Because mm. I can see it. Don't tell me. Show me. Yeah. So I can see it. I can see that you're growing. So when that person is pushing a certain is saying certain things because of their actions, mm. I'm more inclined to gravitate towards that. That's a good enough reason to vote for him. I will never. I will never because I'm I'm listening to some of his some of the speeches or some of the stuff that he says I disagree with. Okay. Um Yeah, man, Guti, I, again I understand how sensitive certain listeners so I, I I'm not fully comfortable in talking about certain top topics. But there's certain things that Umalema will say that I disagree. Because I okay. think, Wuti, we have our hands full as individual households. We're struggling so much to manage our household. I don't have the resource nor the capacity to focus on your household mm. while I'm struggling on mine. And I think as South Africa and where we currently are, I really think, Wuti, the mandate for now, not forever, for now, will be, should be, how can we fix us? You know, and in the masses, right, Lungel, then oh, I can help you out, I can help him out, you know. But Guban Zima, for me to help you out while I'm struggling. But Mr. President, how do you then implement that? That's the tough part. How would I implement people focusing on self development and building themselves and yeah. getting themselves? Some, some things, I guess, would be through tough love. Follow <laughs> McDonald's. Um, <laughs> but, 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 but again, some things might be that simple. You know, mm. some things might be that simple. The the diet that we are fed through TV. I know. think Paul Kagame in Rwanda has got a day where uh, in the month where I think Yapagui Moto and people walk and also get cleaner. There's yeah. a day for cleaning. Yeah. Just to clean. So something in, in, like when you speak about switching or closing a McDonald's or fast food restaurant, you're mm. almost saying, this, you know, families have got mm. vegan night or mm. whatever. Today is going to be no fast food weekend, or this weekend will be no fast food yeah, weekend, man, so like, that people can be conscious on their health. I, I, as president, I remember when the dean of students at, at Rhodes said no selling of alcohol after midnight. Mm. It was that time, and obviously it'll open up. We get it; it'll open up for black markets, wow, 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 yeah. black uh, back door stuff, you know. But that's not accessible for everyone. Yes, you know what's accessible for everyone over the, the the drinking age is alcohol being sold from 12 to whatever. Mm. So now by closing it at 12, you just saying, no, no, people will continue, but at a smaller level. Because yeah. even if I close fast food restaurants for a weekend, there'll be people that will still, you know, yeah. but they, they that won't speak to the majority of their consumers. So maybe it might be things like that. It might be things where what we consume on TV mm. changes. You know, it's literally things that will uh, stimulate you mentally mm. versus just purely entertainment. Mm. Yeah, bueno. so those type of things. Um, there's, there's a culture. If you look at uh, what the guys say uh, around TikTok and in China, good in TikTok and China, we're not going to be pushing Ama. Our algorithms doesn't promote Chinese influencers on TikTok that are about twerking, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. Then maybe let's see if we can tweak the algorithms on our plat well, on our side, where it's not promoting, if I go on your Instagram, naked girls, mm. you know, can it be promoting people who are handy with their hands and craft or reading these books? Can it be, can something like that be the narrative? Speaking about algorithms um, and speaking about self-development, mm. I've heard that that thing of in China, the algorithm is different mm. and the content they get is, is different, is, is building but, educational. Yeah. My TikTok and my Instagram is not... Mm. Naked girls. Yeah. You know, it's not random dance videos. Mm. A lot of engineering, a lot of farming, a lot of motivational talking. Mm. So there may be a generic algorithm in South Africa, but it's probably driven by each individual and what they gravitate towards. N no, I used to believe that. No, no, no. I, I, was, just, I was just pointing out that uh, I, I don't know uh, if there is such an algorithm, yeah, I, but my, I, my feed... Is no, quite I'm, educational. I'm not, I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at your search. So if I go to search, ne? yeah, the search is normally a, a, a generic uh, 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 algorithm based on trends. Mm. Yeah, bon. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about what's on your feed because that's based on your follow. 
So if I go to my YouTube, my feed will be a lot of podcasts, mm. you know. But what if I click on the trends? It won't be speaking to me. Speaking so you don't want to... Wanna, you don't, but uh, my, my point is, if you fix what people can follow, because I think that's what you're speaking to, maybe let's shut down naked channels. People yeah. can probably only search. So I'm, I'm certain... Yes, so I'm trying to say, I, I might not influence your feed per se, but I can influence the randomization of the trends of what you, what is it that they want to push down my throat mm. that's that's what i'm trying to say what is it that i'm trying to, what what they are trying to push down my throat if i go to his youtube your youtube everyone's youtube and i just click on the trends mm. it'll be very similar yeah. yours might not be pro cause what but it'll be very so and that's what i need geography to change. specific you know so that's what i need to change i want to change it when you go to twitter and you click on trends you know that there mm. if we can influence that and not everything has to do with gossip or cancelling someone because they... I want to listen to that we do. Mm -hmm. That is actually not really building, in my opinion, not building mm -hmm. the country, but more breaking it down and destroying. If we could fix that, you know, I think it would change. Even on TV, if, if we could... If you want the, the nation to become more swimmers, play, mm -hmm. play more things that are geared to swimming on TV. Watch what will happen to the kids. Thomas Sankara uh, from Burkina Faso had really great programs when mm. he came into power. Young guy, I think he was in his early 30s when mm. he took over. Got the country to plant trees, mm. gave women leadership positions, mm. which was unheard of at the time. Um, he kind of invested a lot in sports and he mm -hmm. wanted everyone to play sports. Mm -hmm. He was inspired by Sheikh Guevara in the sense that he was like, if you're a politician, you want to live amongst the people mm. and travel with the people. If you can afford a little car with a little salary pay, you sure. Otherwise, public transport. Mm. Um, unfortunately, he was he was taken out. Of course, for that. Your belief in physical health and mental health. Where do you think it stems from? Because you're you're very big in those two spaces. Where do I think it stems from? Yeah. I Why do that. you think gym? You gym a lot. Mm. Why do you think gym is so important? Why do you think working on your mind is so important? for people out there. So I, I don't know where it stems from, but I do understand, Uguti, those who are mentally and physically stronger tend to dominate spaces that they're in, mm. um, be it a verbal altercation or a physical one, mm. you know, and the world is, throws a thousand challenges at you every day. Mm. And if you're not strong enough mentally, you find yourself in trouble. If you're not strong enough physically, you'll find yourself in trouble, mm. you know? And for me, the gym is more mental than it is anything. Mm. I think the, the the physical is a byproduct, you know? Of, of the mental. Of the mental. Yeah, bueno. so I'm going there to to grow. Because mm. in Zimbi, in Zimbi, in Zimbi stays the same. And it's you who's now pushing yourself. Yeah, yeah. Bueno. so you have to set uh, challenges for yourself and then overcome them. Mm. You know, and then every time you overcome them, you look at yourself differently in the mirror. You know, so if my maximum today is five kgs, um, the growth, the person that needs to become to lift 10 kg, I mm. need to become that person. I need to fight and get myself mentally into being that. If I'm trying to lift a weight that I've never lifted ever before, mm. the mental strength will take me to get into that zone, you know, because if I'm not strong enough mentally, I won't be able to lift something I've never lifted before. Mm. Yeah, when I so it's constantly, I'm I'm addicted to that growth mindset. Yeah, yeah, when and the best way to see it is either financially or physically, mm. where you're constantly seeing that growth. Which, oh wow, okay, I think learn. I'm learning. Because I think you learn. And then the realities of life, Guti. Just because you push 10 kgs last week doesn't mean Guti. This week you'll push 10. This week you might go to an eight or a seven, mm. but then you need to work hard to go back to that 10. And so the graph is constantly doing up and down like this again, much like in business, you know? Mm. So you manage to get five bar this month. Doesn't mean you'll get five bar next month. Now it might be four. And then, but the graph will constantly push it in back. So I'm addicted to that. Going back to being president, um, do you think you'd be able to achieve your wishes for this country? Starting with self-development, then family and community Yeah, I, within, I, within a democracy. I, one, I, I think I'm going to get a, a, a sizzling bullet for my efforts. Um, because the from way, who? From certain individuals who are 
just there for themselves. Because there'll always be individuals in spaces that are just there for themselves and to uh, fatten their own self-interest. Mm. So those people will come and say, Mm-mm, there's nothing worse than taking away some of our power and giving it to people. Because what you're basically doing is taking away some of my bread and giving it to people. Mm. So there's people that just want all the bread and you guys must stay poor. So those people would be the first to get rid of me. Um, within a democracy, a democracy doesn't work. The it, it, it might work in certain in certain communities there, but there's no community in this country, at least that I'm aware of, or no space or... or they, 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 I look at your household. I don't think your household is a democracy. I don't think your kids and your, you guys sit and vote mm. on which car to buy. I don't think you sit and vote uh, your kids which daycare to go to. Mm. I don't think you guys sit... I think there's certain stakeholders that mm. make decisions, you know. Um, you might vote every now and again whether we go to McDonald's or KFC, you know. But in terms of moving to Joburg, who made that decision? Was that, did we sit down and vote on it? Mm. And then if I look at it from a, an industry, I bank, my bank, I, don't, I, I didn't have a vote on who is going to become CEO or COO or CFO. Mm. I didn't have a vote, you know. So they made the decisions based on the people that were best qualified. Maybe a certain group got to vote, but that was a qualified group. You know, they that group was there on, I would assume, and hope merit. Mm. And those guys then get, got to vote for CFO. Uh, 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 uh. And then it trickles down because I didn't vote for the manager at my local mm. branch. Yeah, when, um, when I fly a plane, yes, I'm buying the ticket with my money, yeah. but I'm not voting for the pilot. I'm not voting for the... Number one, what's it? I'm a host. I'm not voting them in, but they, they've made decisions that's best for me. But this is how our political system works. You may not vote for what's happening at ESCOM or SAA. Yeah. You just buy the tickets, which is the political party, and then they make the decisions. Which is That's fine. the democracy we have. Yes. So me putting an X mm. next to the corporate party, I don't think I'm qualified to do that. Why not? Because I don't know enough about the political system. You're arguing that if democracy was so great, we'd have it in our own homes. Yeah. If not democracy, what would be a better solution? Because my first question or my big question is, if we don't have democracy in our homes... What are they doing at the banks? If you look at how Africans were living mm. before we were colonized, where we had kings, mm. who, who gave us democracy and who said this is so, what people want? So, Mina, again, what I think would be best here is to run the system the way that let's say the banks run the system, mm. the way that um, these big uh, corporations run the system, mm. you know, because clearly they're doing something right. They're devouring the competition and that corporation gets stronger and stronger. So I would run this country like that. But that's how the political system is. It's becoming stronger and stronger. No, but they, they for example, if I look at my bank, mm. the aim or from what it looks like, Mm. Ne, is they are helping everyone from the lowest of the lowest to the middle class to this. I'm not hearing people complain about my bank. Does your bank make you rich? It doesn't make me rich. Ne? So no, why would no, you support no, it? Nor does my bank misuse my money to a point where I hate that. How do you know? No, no. I'm talking about what I know, not what I don't know. You know, the, so, the so, bank so, example so, you're giving so, for me... So when I, you, you, you are, I'm talking about what things that I'm complaining about. Yeah. And there's a thousand and one things that my bank might be doing wrong. Mm. But I'm not complaining about them. Versus if I'm going to a store that is deliberately selling me food that is off. Mm. Or if my bank is then, I put in a hundred and it disappeared. I'm saying, Wuti, the political system is one where we complain about it 24-7 all the time. Yes. And I'm saying this one is not perfect. At all. Mm. But it's not one that we're complaining about. It's People one complain way. daily about banks. Okay. I, they, they were scammed. Uh, you, their account you, got closed. Their you, bank charges yes. are too high. There's people that are pro-government and they're happy to vote. Mm. I'm the one who's not happy to vote. Therefore, if you're saying, what system would I have? Mm. I would choose this system. It's not perfect. but if, do, do you not think it's closely tied to the political system? It, it could be. It could be, but I don't want you to now lie to me and say... Because they've also got a monopoly, just like the political sure. parties. But don't... This here is straightforward. They, they're not selling democracy. They're not coming to me and saying to me, 
we want you to vote for the CEO. They're not selling that lie to me. Just don't sell me the lie. That's all I'm trying to do. You, you make it seem as if, uh, if I put an X around the water party, that the next thing this guy will become president and... No, man, I'm... These guys are saying, we capitalists, we want to chew money and dominate all the spaces. Do you really believe people hear that from banks? Me. I need sure. to, the question goes back to me. So uh -huh. this year is, okay, capitalist society. Mm. Okay, if I go to pick and pay, capitalist. Okay, shop. I know what he, by me giving them my money for bread, they're not trying to be like, oh, okay, let's go and save the community. Mm. They're trying to maximize profits. Mm. Shop. Which vote do you think is more important? Voting with a cross on a ballot paper mm. or voting with your money for so, a bank so, or a retailer? Yeah, so before I used to think about voting with a cross was it was important mm. now it's obviously voting with with your money mm. you know so if it was like that on the political space where with my tax rent i could go and decide would you oh pension you make a tax of a thousand rand go give it to one of these guys but are you not doing that by buying from certain businesses that end up influencing the politicians yes i don't know who they're influencing if i knew personally mm. And it takes yeah, me one thousand yala. Mm. And if I knew which by yisa kwa, I'd stop. You believe they're separate? Politics no, and I don't believe they're separate. separate. I don't believe they're separate. No, I mean I'm in saying, terms of the way they operate, because you were saying no, no, you I'm, wish politics I'm, ran I'm more saying, like business. I'm saying this year is making me a clean up talala. Laba bang ambela manga to my face. Laba at least they might even romanticize it every now and again. Mm. If I knew what these guys. If I mean I see you going to buy the t-shirt at China Mall. Yeah. If I knew what these guys are sending their my one thousand rand worth of text to this political party, I'd stop. Mm. I'd stop. Then I would look for the bank that is going and taking my tax to where I think it's going to be best. Mm. So if Juba City, for me, the importance of voting with money is more than the X. Yeah. If I had a choice where my tax went, I would 100 percent be voting every election. I'd be standing right in the middle, because mm. then I'd have a, a real interest on seeing what the mm. man. But man, you can't see I'm trying to think of this political system you want that runs like business. Let, I'll, let, th this is how I would change the political system, just as a start, if you were to ask me. Well, let me let me try and phrase it this way, with the example that you gave. If we were to maybe collapse the political system, mm -hmm. and we were to say, Go buy from this business mm -hmm. that serves your community. Mm -hmm. You go to a retail store because you want the groceries from there. Mm. You go to a bank because you want their service. Mm. So maybe if there were almost stores where you like, if you want potholes fixed, mm. if you want certain service, you like, that's buy where here, we buy from. Then we. I, if I'm not enjoying my electricity supply from these guys, mm. Vodacom, I go to MTN. Mm. And we had something like that where we remove governance and we have private business solving all our problems because we've got private schooling, healthcare, etc. In, in the short term, this is what I would do. The, the, the same way that we don't have a say on who your CEO is mm. at your bank, I would very much take everything away from us. And I would say, Guti, here, we don't want you voting based on emotion. Mm. you will then need to qualify to vote. Think of driving. You don't just drive. And it's not a, a right to drive. Yeah. You know, you need to get earn, your learning. Earn the right. You need to earn the right to vote. Yeah. Everybody has that option of being able to vote, mm. you know, but you need to earn the right. Mm. And I believe, Wuti, as an example, we need to do a course, short course, today, over the weekend, whatever the case is, where they ask you, who is the deputy chair of that political party mm. you know what is their policy on uh bee what's their policy on gender equality mm. you know those just those basic entry level things just for you to be able to say i want to vote in my local elections mm. do you know who's going to be voting to run your hood mm. or are you just going to be voting based on who's got the most posters and which color you relate to mm. so within a local point and then from there if you have then qualified here and then you voted from a local point 
then you have another test which will then again i'm not talking about something big I'm not talking about something on the same level as your learners no that's not what i'm talking about but when once you've done that then you can qualify to do your national one mm. or test it based on a basic understanding of your national law basic at the most basic from there the same way with they're not letting 16 year olds vote mm. they've got a justification and a reason why Mm. So if you're saying it's everybody's right, then surely a 16-year-old should vote. Mm. But they don't have that. Okay. Then put cert- they put a barrier, mm. which is age. They've put a certain barrier. They've justified it. This barrier to me makes more sense than the age barrier. Mm. Uguti, now that you've understood the law at the most basic from a local point, yeah. you can then vote for your local council. Mm. And then once you've Okay, here's my card or here's my proof that I can understand local. Can I now qualify to go and study for the national qualification so that I can vote for who's going to run mm. the national thing? Because I think what will then happen is that all these people that are getting convinced to vote over Ngama Street twice to nay keeper, those people will then decrease. I'm not saying that they they won't mm. get sold by Ngama Street twice to nay keeper, yeah. but all of a sudden When you speak to people on the street and you say, "Hey, did you know that political party stands for one, two, three? And they go, "How? Oh, Mampela." Mm. I was like, "Yeah, but that's the basic of it. The basic of that political party is against what you say that you are pro." How you think about that? I'm very big on political education, and yeah. the IEC in this country is meant to be responsible for it, and sure. I don't think they do a great job of it, to be fully honest. Um, my concern with what you're raising, even though I fully support political literacy and earning the right to vote, yeah, is that it's going to exclude people that don't comprehend like others, that mm. don't grasp like others. Mm. And if we take it back to your business example, it's almost like saying people must learn how businesses or banks work before they bank, before they buy groceries. Mm. And the question is, if we trust people to be able to walk into a shop right to mm. buy groceries, mm. why can't the guy who can't comprehend is mm. illiterate doesn't really understand why shouldn't he be allowed to pick someone to so, lead him so mina i was saying guti outside of being able to vote for your money with your money if mm. you could vote with your money mm. take away everything that i just spoke about but if it's just purely voting with an x but people don't have money as well so that's, it would that's, also discriminate so, so so i think guti so there's money so and there's also yes. uh, intelligence that's, or literacy that's fine. i'm saying guti we do that in 99.9% of spaces university etc 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 driving ah uh, we find with 99.9% mm. we we exclude people based on age literacy uh, but why are we not here yeah so this is the only space where it's fine and i'm saying guti if people could vote with their money we born guti jo wona kala ma portals yeah but you are send a low 50 rand we are so but come now now you can see it x is something else mm. but when you voting with 50 rand work Mm. Ooh, it's not sure. and i'm seeing it is not going to okay or it's not going to be like this mm. I, the the chance of me changing and moving to a certain will be a lot quicker mm. i believe you know because then i'm getting burnt every day by ukfagi maliam i got a, i had a i had a guest here uh uluyanda chapter mm. from uh, the people's fund mm. amazing brain he said part of the problems we have in society are because we're trying to diagnose the wrong thing mm. and that's why the problems persist mm. and he believes very much in old school men and women mm. and he was saying he believes if we said you can only be a man if mm. you can provide mm. automatically men would solve the right problem yes right now we focus on other airy fairy things and it becomes mm. a debate do you think if we only said only taxpayers and people that have passed basic political literacy can vote mm. that it will inspire people that maybe don't have money and don't pay tax mm. people that are not literate to be like no let me actually make money mm. pay tax let me learn because i also want to make a decision mm. these guys are making decisions and i don't like them so i want to earn the right and that will push people to be like i mean you can't drive a car mm. as far as we know without a license mm. whether you like it or not bribe mm. or not you push to get the license mm. so maybe if we said you can only vote if you pay tax and if you have passed a political literacy test do you mm. think that would work i think it will have to work um kona lento manje ini black label cup e polen e polen yeah where you have to vote for your team your your players whatever sure. in you get to select the squad you get to select whatever you select 
no one's coming through and saying it's only people who can afford it. You'll make a plan. You'll make a plan to get it data, whatever that's needed. Upvote. Yeah. And I think it's that. So now, chances like me who don't watch the Black Label Cup. Mm. I have all the data, but I'm a chancer. I, I wouldn't vote for that. Because mm. I feel like it's just a waste of my data, a waste of my time. Yeah. You know, and the people who then get to vote, mm. I truly believe for the majority of it are people who are really invested in that tournament. Mm. And I think Wuti, then that tournament becomes a greater, there's a greater chance of it becoming a success yeah. because it's the right audience who's getting to vote for them versus if it was just a free for all. Sure. You know, and I, 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 I and it would be based now on population dynamics. Mm. Which team, uh, or which number of people are within a certain area, then even though it's, it might be pop. Mm. If that's the case, fine, get together, vote with your money. It's more neg. Because then chances are you will watch and support. Because you know, once I vote with my money mm. and I see this at, at the local pick and pay that I go to, quality, quality stuff. Yeah. Because you know, because we vote with our money, we also then get to moan. Mm. And we say, hey dog, if it's not at our level, we're going to take our money mm. and go somewhere else. Here, with the way that the tax is, I can't take my money away and give it to someone else. Mm. You know, well, at least directly like yeah. I would at pick and yeah. pay. So now it makes things hard because even though I, I don't want to give you my money because mm. I don't think that you're the best person. Mm. I want to give it there. I'm limited to. I've got two sensitive. questions. The one is social welfare. The second one is monarchs. Mm. One of the arguments for government intervention mm. instead of just letting private businesses, let's say South Africa only had private schools. Mm. So if you want an education for your child, Mm. There's different levels. Mm. Of course, if you don't have much money, your child will go to this cheap private school. If you have mm -hmm. a lot of money, this same with healthcare. Mm -hmm. um, some people are doing it with private security, mm -hmm. for example, etc. Uh, you can live within an estate, which is almost a mini country. Yes. There's no potholes. If there are, you go to the body corporate, etc. Mm. Um, how what are your thoughts around social welfare in this country? Mm. Because that is government's argument. If we let the capitalists run, the poor people will have nothing. So we need to intervene. And how but, we intervene is free housing, free healthcare, free schooling, etc. As the father of a nation or a father of a household, for it to get to a point where my kids in my house, the one is buying himself food and eating by himself. Mm. And the other one is, do I never get to look back and say, this is my fuck up I need to fix from the top? Do I never sit and if your country is all private security, private this, private that, as a father, mm. ne, am I not looking and saying, I need to fix something? Mm. Or, or am I constantly going to be blaming my kids? You're going to be punishing the child that's making a lot of money so, so, and taking so, their so, money and feeding so, the other so kids. So now, I must support a father that does that. I can't support the government who are the fathers or the parents mm. that if it regardless of 30 years ago we were, uh, you you are moving in the most toxic behavior now mm. as parents and it's forced to the kids it's forced to the kids to have private security it's forced the kids to have private schools private hospitals to have many complexes whatever it's forced them to do that mm. because you as parents clearly have failed mm. And now I have to go and relook and almost shout at the people that have private security. Mm. You know, uh, we, we, we can't carry weapons or we shouldn't have weapons as citizens. Why do you think we want to carry weapons and have weapons as citizens? For fun. For fun. Because for for we bought. Shits and giggles. Because you weren't talking about illegal weapons. Yeah. You were talking about people that actually go and get their competency and go and apply. And you were talking about getting rid of those people that have done it the legal, right, correct way. Yeah. You saying they shouldn't carry. Why do you think those people are carrying? Mm. So you as a parent, you shouting at your child who's walking around pretty oak up because they don't feel safe in a house that you are meant to create them to feel safe. And all you do is blame everything else hmm. instead of shutting the fuck up and fixing the reason so that your child without even you saying, folds the up, he puts it in a drawer. Here's a great follow-up question to the monarch part. You speak about the father of a country, you speak about the father of a household. Most of our children hmm. cannot pick a different family. Hmm. Uh, the neighbor's father is so amazing. You know, what hmm. he does for his kids, his present, his... I want to leave my dad. Mm. Yeah. Um, we can do it from a political perspective. Yes. 
for many people they can't do it in monarchs i mm. can't say you know what hey royal bafo king excess mm. yakip i want to go to to erasti mm. and go be involved there and become part of the bafo king people mm. i'm now forced by birth to be part of the zulu nation mm. and maybe i'm not happy with what the zulu king or the zulu, mm. zulu mm. royal family mm. is doing mm. what is your view on monarchs as fathers of specific nations i've got or mothers rather i've got no problems with monarchs at all the same way that i've got no problems with how people run their household mm. what i have a problem with is the corruption behind that um in the sense where you have now gotten that crown in a corrupt way any form of leadership that is not earned is corrupt to me you know so it's a lot it's a difference between a father and a sperm donor we've mm. seen a lot of guys walking around and i'm like bro you just busted a nut you know so <laughs> so for me to respect you i can you, see in your child's face would you can just see would you just busted a nut one night stand so you? so you you have no leg to stand on and look at me as your equal we're not equals you know you are a corrupt father you know mm. you i go on your instagram dog you don't have a single post of your child in today's time I'm not saying which that's the, the 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 view of how I see fathers no because mm. vele sebazo o babla me never you get that just as a small anya and indicator just as, be proud of what you created as a 33 year old you I post your car as a, as you post you, your you, house you post but not your, your child you post bottles you post you with random fucking yellow bones we see that all the time i've never seen you one fucking one time post happy birthday to your fucking child something that's meant to be intrinsically and yours. then you going to come and tell me go to me and go bab fuck you so i have no problem with a monarch or anything mm. that has to do with the best or you being put in a situation mm. you know but once you are put in that situation do what is best for your kingdom mm. you know and if you are put in there because of a corrupt way because this is why dagi when you bust a nut now you put in there mm. and then on top of that you don't do shit that's when i have a problem with a monarch or any type of system that is not earned in a way do you not believe that South Africa would function better as a kingdom or as a collection of kingdoms rather than the political the democratic if, political if, systems if, we have if let's go back to the Zulu one with the the new Mrs Zulu as the king once i can see what he is doing for his kids which is his biological Zulu. children no the Zulu or people the Zulu people okay i can then have a and not just some because there'll always be some that benefit mm. i'm talking about most once most start benefiting and we can see it on the day to day yeah much like the people in oranya whatever the case is once we can see excuse me the which is benefit again then i'll have a better say on if that can be replicated but i'm not you don't seeing, have to look from him uh, let's look at his father's wellitini i at I, 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 i don't see me look at what or dali dali my boy think and i'm saying it's based on those people i didn't see how it benefited most Mm. of their kids i didn't see that their subjects you know yeah bueno so again i'm using him as a father mm. and and us as kids that's how i'm looking at it mm. you know much like our government being the father and the rest of us being kids so i'm not seeing how it's benefiting most of us do you believe politicians are currently better than royal heads no no you don't think politicians do more for the people than kings and queens in no, this country no i i think it's a huge illusion because i think we are doing more for us I think it is the private security that is doing more for the safety of my neighborhood than the than the police system. No, I'm no? I'm comparing the two. Just the politicians versus the cuz I was asking no. if it functioned better I, as a kingdom I, I, than I, as I, a I don't think so. I don't think I think both of them are not doing anything. I think the reason why we seeing society getting along or moving along is because of us as No, forget society. I'm asking if we were forced, if you had to vote Would you prefer a monarch or what we can't have? If I, we had I, to I, if I, one had to go I'd have to flip a coin. Cuz you believe they are completely equal. Our I, our government so, so, has got a system that builds schools and hospitals yes, the kings our, don't. Yes, our government is 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 managing trillions of rands. Mm. They might be managing 100 million for argument's sake. But yeah. it might be coming from their people. So I I'm saying what I I would be I'd need to compare apples to apples. Mhm. I don't I'm Zulu, Kesedin Zulu. Yeah. Personally, I'm not saying with obviously Kona Bantu that will say they've benefited from sure. Yeah. Ne? I K 
cannot have a direct link ukuthi nga benefit ubani baba ka Mrs Zulu Zulutin angazi someone will have to break it down and explain it to me mm. but the same breath people say okay how did the premier of KZ in benefit you mm. ish angazi because the school that i went to was built before by the previous government you know but it was maintained by the current government it no it, it, if, if 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 you call that maintaining because mm. mina what i saw from my time there it was just dropping in terms of infrastructure the number of stuff that we had available mm. the extra mural uh, activity so if but the, at least it was the government and not the zulu kingdom so, so i don't know ne? okay i don't know if it was my school fees because again we were still voting with our school fees yeah so there's so many variables that go into play so i'd have to unpack it and rip it apart at its most naked yeah bon because me i see it the same if we were tomorrow as kzn got rid of the premier and their office and just mrs zuluran mm. and they say pension do you vote yes yes or no i do the same thing i'm going to do at the next election flip a coin flip a coin that's a like afrikaans uh, uh, singing group. yeah yeah <laughs> so i'd do the same thing because i'm not trying to say what they are better they are worse angas i mean when you say ic's job is to teach us and educate us yeah must i follow them on twitter must i follow them on instagram they have an instagram page so beg them must i subscribe on their youtube channel w- w- what is it because what must like is there a certain channel on sabc that i can click to that they can teach me hmm. you know so it's 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 leon though so your mother as we grew up was a huge fan of princess diana hmm. um i was mostly indifferent hmm. um She was a huge fan and part mm. of her being a fan was um the spotlight on her children William and Harry. Mm. Um Prince William has become very stately, you know, Princess Kate. Mm. And then Harry's become a bit of a rebel mm. uh, with Meghan, the Duke and Duchess I think of Sussex. Mm. What are your views on on William and Harry? What do you think makes them better than us so, in the so, world that we live in today? So uh, as there's, there's something to do with the uh, e- e- propaganda and the whole how Diana is painted I, i i still think what we were we were sold a dream there you know um from beginning when prince charles was dating princess diana's sister how being a scandalous girl by as a buzzy this one is cut like the thing on twitter hi bo scoop is macatini is scoop or city a city um asking at bunch what's the word allegedly Yeah. Uh, yeah. Allegedly. So allegedly. So why you know that? So why allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. Okay. Already tells me the mindset of who Diana. Already just tells me the mindset of who Diana. Shows is walking is thin. Good ngazo shows is walking is thin. Oh, you want to go to the in in ala in just that. And yeah, now, you're pushing propaganda and what Diana and some boy are the same. Apparently, allegedly, 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 according to sources, according to source unknown sources. So already tells me mindset of Sisi lo. Yeah. It the Sisi got a funwa the entire royal family. Why? Why in a funwa e nya understand nga funwa koko oyeto. Nya understand nga funwa malumo yeto. Nga funwa ibo bonke. Lo Sisi was moving Let's with come people. Let's come full circle because Clearly, Prince Harry is his father's son. Lo, 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 lo sis, when I, when, when I look at him, was linking with people that I also are also, hmm. Mm. Hmm. No two to no man dead. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Those are legendary mm. people. Nobel Peace Prize mm. winners. Yeah, and we love world, them. World leaders. Yeah, we love them. But, hmm. Questionable to you. No, just there's a lot of nje propaganda and I'm a question marks nje. Nya batanda nami abon o mother Teresa nan. But as in into the way that they're moving you just go I isn't I hlang on man. Azi ngempela lo sisi lona uvela fika laba ofikela lo mdeni ofikela kubona umdeni wala ikhaya asikufuna. Sonke. When ufuna abantu who are labeled let us call them sell outs. Uskima na labo So so we group e group hana la sell out mm. and then ba push propaganda or ba push a their narrative mm. yeah bon and you are fast tracked in certain spaces and we never ever ever hear any of your faults but we hear everyone else's faults towards you 
So you, you've already got but, question marks uh, around the mom. Uh, about phony, but a sars why bang up phone. Sars and Jiguti, when you're not the queen they want. What, what does that mean? How does that look like? Mm. Like, I don't think there's a royal family that says, we hate the fact that our queen is helping the uh, underprivileged. Mm. That, that doesn't make any human logic to me. Sure. We hate the fact that our queen is going and, and helping Africans and uh, wanting to build school. That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, yeah. shop. You are hated by the family. Your kids are born. The world loves your kids. Mm. They hate your husband. He's toxic. He's the worst. Mm. The world hates him. Charles, Charles named the being cool. Asazi next more Charles. Mm. But we told to hate him. Mm. Then your kids come through. Ne? Mm. So then you have two kids that are being groomed to be these, I don't know, princes or whatever. Mm. Hey, for that na opinion, long as how I live, na opinion. I don't have an opinion about this family. So then, I'm not saying pieces. I'm opinion. I'm not opinion. I want to have a shot. Whoever makes them happy. Um, we're speaking we, about a concept of earned leadership I, I, and I, I, and your desire I, I, to I, see so earned it, it leaders. Can be, thank, thank you very much. So it it's it it's it's earned to me in a way when they are giving back to the community in terms of what we've seen them uh, in underprivileged settings. Please It's pause there. Um, you spoke about earned leadership. Yeah. And the reason I'm asking, what do you think makes them better than us? It's not just me and you. It's any other I, brother. I, 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 Please I, pause there. Oh, nice. I'm just trying to figure out, starting from South African royal families, and then this is the most popular. Mm. If royal families are still relevant in mm. society today mm. and the question of why what makes them relevant because they are our age back in the day we could start and we could build an army and yeah. go and try and conquer the united kingdom Up. we could create oh. an army and go and try and take on the zulu kingdom yeah but we don't live in that world today so for how long do they get to reign and have they even earned it more than us in in how they've lived their lives and how do we potentially try to overthrow their power dynamics like maybe a mark zuckerberg who's become yeah. very powerful yeah. and elon musk these guys are very influential and they almost earned their power compared to these people that were just yeah, born if you want to compare them to us then i don't think they've earned it i don't think they've earned it at all you don't think they are better than us no why that was my question to yeah, you. yeah well it's like saying guti a child who's born in timbisa versus a child who's born in brinston the one who's born in brinston is better than You know, yeah, they born with a silver spoon, maybe. They mm. born with better resource, maybe. But uh, this person being born in Bryanston and being mm. born with that silver spoon, or being born with resource, is not through any act of their own. Mm. You know, so that's that 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 tadpole of a child, you know, has privileges that this tadpole of a child doesn't. Mm. And now this one, just because you were, why why do you believe you are better than? My my dad got me. No no no, you you. But my dad. No, your dad my is father. better than his dad. Okay, whatever. My Now, grandmother. We're looking the at, queen. Yeah, yeah. Why not? So when they, like that, I just believe it's corrupt. I believe it's corrupt. You think every generation needs to from scratch re earn I, their keep? I, I I don't think you need to re. It's not the re. It's when I look at Harry, and I look at what he's done now mm. with what he has. Give me, I'm saying, okay, you've earned it now. You've earned my respect. Mm. You know, yes, you were born in privilege and royalty and this and that, but now you're put in the situation and you went, uh, you went and you worked for your army. You know, you've given back. It might mm. not be like every other person in the army. I get it. Are you talking about you a re relative measure? Relative based measure. on where you, you come from, you've, what have yes, you done? You've given. You have. I've, I've had the privilege of seeing this guy from afar twice, and there's that cycle thing that they do. They do in 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 SA where they're raising money for. Poor kids, as a kid. Which gender is your one? Oh, Harry, the Duke, the Lord, change a ninja, and and you're seeing things. I've never, Mrs. Zulmina, I only knew of his existence last year. Mm. I didn't like know almost it. everyone else. Yes, I didn't know that this guy exists in the world. This is a guy who's next in line. Mm. Like is of which it's of still which, I'm, disputed I'm, today. I'm a Zulu guy born and bred in KZN. Mm. Ne? There's no education in any point where where, and I don't see myself as. I'd like to believe Ruti Ngifundile and I'm very knowledgeable about mm. current affairs. And I had no idea who this guy was mm. whatsoever. Yeah, but whereas 
what's happening in England. I know about it now. Mm. And they're pushing that agenda. And I know what he's done this and he's been in the army and he's built that school and he did this with his mom and he did it. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. I'm aware of that. So he's earned my respect. Mrs. Zulu, how is he earned my respect? Are you even uh, are you even aware if Harry even did that on his own accord? He might not have. Yeah, well, because there's things like where he already like forces you kezi mod. But now when you're riding in the car or you're driving in the car, whatever, give me, I'll give you a bit more respect. Who's just purely privileged to a point where I we about to So lo nang imboni lekez, even though got the first few weekers, but at least so lo ozalule Brian Steen or Kule with a silver spoon. At least in yambon with my kati we I cares is each. At least in yambon we I polish it At least in yambon I have more respect for that person mm. than I would the next person who doesn't even have that. So when it comes to the im monarch, ne mm. sharp the system is the system is the system. Now you're in that system. Mm. What are you doing, Mrs Zulu? You've been here for like this. What what can we name that is just public knowledge? That Mrs. Zulu has now done for Zulu people. Whereas Ngasho would say, Why do you want to go to the church? I want to go to the church every weekend. Oh, come on, Vito. But you want to go to the church, Vito. I want to go to the church. So like, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm going against monarch. I'm saying, okay, now you've been given this. It's like, uh, if you're blessed with height and physicality, mm. you know, that's what you've been blessed with. You know, what are you doing? What are you doing with it? What are you doing with what you're blessed with? And it doesn't have to be now you are LeBron. You know, I'll see if it's a shinja ma club. My kumil, at least it's a bonu ya lulega. And jala ma shinja ma club bizwa wen. Shinja ma club. That's something. I'll respect you because of that something. Mm. And Nom Chita has been now in power for, and I'm saying, Woodsy, I haven't heard. I'm not saying he hasn't done. I just haven't heard what he's done for. As a Zulu person. As a Zulu king for Zulu people. Don't you show when as a Zulu person you haven't heard what your king yes has and, done. And I'm in in the spaces I'm I'm in. If I go to ten other Zulu people and I ask them, I'd be shocked if they could tell me one thing. Mm. I'd be absolutely shocked. Yeah, one. Whereas with Uheri, I have seen what he's done, mm. and it doesn't even again I show umuntu wam, but mm. I know what he's done has benefited Black South Africans. So it might be a a failure at public relations marketing of mm. the work that's being done. It maybe could, it could be that. Maybe the Zulu royal family needs its own reality show. Maybe. Keeping up with the Zulus. Maybe. Yeah, one. But it's also tough to push an agenda when, or, or to to sell something when there's not much to sell. Hey, don't say that. I'm not saying that there's not much to sell. In your clothes, hey. My two last <laughs> questions. <laughs> Oh, these are my two last questions. The first one is, I've made a decision to leave the Zulu nation. Okay. Me personally. Mm. And I'd like to hear your opinions. We've never spoken about it. Mm. A lot of people have criticized me on social media, whatever. A lot of them are not understanding, etc. Mm. I'd like to hear just your opinion on that. And then in closing, we're speaking family, leadership, earned leadership, and, and mm. your plan for your three boys, my nephews. Yeah, so in terms of leaving the Zulu culture or the nation, the nation, give me, yeah. g- give me, it doesn't make sense when you still speak the language and benefit of the Zulu, Zulu is. So give me, it's like someone saying they're no longer human, but they're living amongst us humans and benefiting every day. Or I'm no longer South African, but you still benefit from your South African identity, your passport, and you live la. So give me, it just becomes hard. I think if you're going to denounce a nation, <clears throat> I think Kala by denouncing the um, positives of it. So Mayo Kibelitex, speak English to them. Good afternoon, sir. But I'm, I'm not from the British nation. N- or what, um, well, you have to, so what are you, no language? No, I'm asking you, why, you, would, you, why would you, you assign language okay, to a nation? But you denounced one. So I'm assuming. Yeah, what's I it? denounced the nation, not a yes. language. Okay, but it's the language is part of the nation. I'm not British. Okay, then pick another one. So it's almost why? like. Why? It's, it's if, something I've learned. You, you're not sharing what I'm saying. Why do they have a monopoly if, on the if, language? If you, because it's theirs. Yeah, but other people use it. That's white fine. people use it, but okay. they're not part of the nation. Sure. But the moment that white person denounces ne, anything to do with the Zuluness, Unless no, not you, anything. So I've just what, left what, the nation. It's like leaving South Africa. I now live in America. Yes, but you said yes, you I still it. speak Afrikaans. But you, you, I still you, support you, the Springboks. You and you're saying I mustn't support yes, the Springboks. Why not? Because your wording is negative. 
part of the nation. Yes. yes. So when it's, it's like leaving a church. Sharp. Now they, you're like, they, oh, don't, they, don't quote Noah. They, they, don't they, quote they, Moses. They, I'm they, like, why they, not? If you're leaving that specific church, don't pull and utilize things to benefit you from that church. What, what is being Zulu? How do I benefit from being Zulu or being part of the Zulu nation? No, no, rather? I don't know how you benefit. How no. do you benefit from being part of the Zulu nation? Because man say pre, man feel like it's unborn and back trailer. Mm. The other tribes, ngene mina kazi teksi ngazal. Man ngene loftus and you speak Afrikaans. I'm not denouncing being able to speak. No, it's not Afrikaans about denouncing. I'm asking about you the know. privileges of being yes. part of, and, and you and, speak about and, a language. And I'm saying, Uti, I can go to another country I'm and speak Uti, a language I'm not, there. I'm not speaking negative to an Afrikaans nation. And if it's I was, not negative to a nation, no, 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 it's we're, leaving. We're, yes, the, the I'm way, not saying I hate Zulus and I hate the Zulu nation. I'm saying I would like to leave. The, I hate Christianity. I hate no, I'd like to the, leave the, the church. The way that you unpack it, I don't need to say anything negative about. Yeah, well, what does it look like when you say "ganshia like hi"? I can obviously pull me like hi, but the moment to say I no longer want to associate with this crew, I haven't and I'm said leaving. That. It comes across like you say that in certain platforms. I never chose to associate with the British nation, but I speak English that's and I wear Western clothing. That, that's perfectly fine. I'm I never about, chose to, about the, the to align part. with the Koreans when I bought a Samsung y- yes, phone. You, so you, you never Zulu said you people are a majority in this country. And by default, yes. you will learn the languages. I know Zulu, I know English, I know Afrikaans, Wait, Why don't you cetera. say, you, you've, you've never said you are leaving anything else but this. I've said I'm, I'm leaving Christianity. Yes. So in leaving it, there's certain benefits you don't have anymore. So what, there, what are the if, benefits of I'm being Christian? I'm giving an example. Okay. So if there was a benefit where Gukonama one rand that mm. everyone who's a Christian get, you no longer have access to that. Okay. Ne? So if there was a school, for example, that had Christian values and only Christians can go in, you understand that your child can't go there. Yes. Okay. Then that's fine. I don't. I don't like that for me. Mm. So I'm happy with. How do if, you benefit from being part of the Zulu nation besides having a language? It's it's it's, it's it was the language. Kwachisaban. It's a language and a form of identity because I feel like, um, even though I'm not fully immersed in the cultural side, mm. but I know I have access to, and that to me is good enough. Because when it comes a time where I I would like to expand and go deeper into that, mm. because I have access to, everyone I has access to, to it, to my one. To the Zulu nation, it's, a, it's, a it's, girl it's going from, to be it's going to be limited because from, from Elisutu, a yes, girl from Emakose has it's, access it's, to it's, the Zulu it's, nation. It's limited because a, a guy of my age who's born and bred of two baby parents, ne, mm. doesn't won't have the accessibility within the culture of Zulu that I'll have. Why not? Because of the language where they were born. They can learn the language. Raised. They can. They can. Are you saying a Zulu it, from will, Cape Town is not as Zulu it, as a Zulu from Bonongo? No, no, Bonongo. I'm saying, I'm say, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. But it's, he's still Zulu. He's fine. But it's almost like you're he, judging he, him. He will have limited access. The same way that if I decided to convert and become, let's say, Jew, ne? sensitive, mm. but I won't have <laughs> the same privileges. Don't mention uh, privileges as one who is born in of a Jewish mother in Israel. They will go to a point where things will be Kambe, kambe, and I might have certain challenges. You believe that exists in the Zulu nation? I really do. I've never seen it. There was a gentleman when I was still in Grahamstown mm. who um, they needed the head of police in Grahamstown. Yes. And it was a guy who was from, I think, Joburg. Okay. Who then came to Grahamstown. Mm. And he was then, they, Benza must strike Nanan to force him not to be head of police. Okay. And they were saying, we're not going to let a person a from Joba protester from Joburg come and tell us how to run our things here. Mm. They didn't say he's not qualified in terms of his job. Yes. They didn't say that he was negatively treating them. They didn't say, they were just saying, you are not of here. Of this community. You're not of this community. Mm. You know, these are other police officers yes. who are saying this. You are not of this community. You don't understand this community. You weren't brought up in this community. Mm. We understand it. We are of here. And we will run it our way. Mm. And I still believe that in a country like ours and in the world at large, there's people who, there's most of us still see it that way. So you might be born and raised in Canada mm. and your mom and dad are both Nigerian. I don't see that the Nigerian guys in Abuja or Lagos will see you the same. But that's a geography and a familiarity That's thing. perfectly fine. And I think with that, there's limited I'm trying to access. figure out what privileges you have, Guanongoma. 
No, versus I'm getting, Kosa from yes, and I'm saying and, and, I'm, and I'm saying and getting close to the Zulu nation. Yes, or and the I'm Zulu saying, kingdom. Rather. Yes, for example, let's continue the lineage, and I had a chance of becoming Induna, ne? Mm. Of of a certain place. I do not think that because I was born in Zambia and love and identify with the Zulu culture, but that's a geography I, thing. Because I'm trying. I'm trying born, to. I'm trying to paint Kosa. a picture of a guy from your mother lied about yeah. your paternity. Okay, and she said your father is Umteto. Yes, when your father's actually some guy from Wherever. the Sutu Nation or yeah. somewhere. Yeah, and you're telling me just by virtue that your mom lied. Yes, there's some yes. benefit. Yes, what is the benefit outside it, of it, geography? But what I'm trying to because say because you could the, have been the, born the, in the, the northern. The benefit Cape. is me pensing access to culture. And what that might mean, whether in Fuen Duna or Minko Sindao. So give me, I have not access. Not geography, to that. just the surname. No, you're not sharing what I'm saying. I'm saying which I have access to that should I want to go there. Mm. You who say you have denounced or you are, sorry, moving away from it and no longer wanting to be part of it, mm. should that come? I don't think you should have access. You should now want to have access. Uguba in Duna or Uguba in Kosindao. But you realize so many people that are not Zulu are benefiting from the Zulu kingdom. There's many people that are benefiting from a lot of things. I'm 100%. Just talk, I'm just talking about... This is what, what I was asking about, what, how you benefit. What, yes, and I'm saying... What it, and I don't people, know how you benefit. As, that's fine, and I'm trying to explain it. Mm. Me, if I needed to become, as an American, let's give you another one. People who are not born of America, mm. they don't have access to becoming the president. Mm. Yet there's people who are not born of America, Elon Musk, who benefit way more yes. from America than the average American. Mm. However, the difference between him and someone who's born in Texas is that the person who's born in Texas has a chance at currently for him to become the president. Mm. And that alone might be enough for that person born in Texas. They might not want everything that Elon wants, or they might want the opportunity that every Elon has mm. and the opportunity of becoming a president. Therefore, they benefit just by the option that they could go get that you're giving me examples of real places with real benefits yes I that's asked what I'm you, to say. Penson, and I'm how s- you benefit from but, being um, but, but i'm saying with you what i can benefit i'm benefiting. how can you benefit la, 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 la. the Sorry. option of of being the king yes never no 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 in Duna, there's no such la, thing la, la. in Duna, i can become in Duna. you can't why can't i become in Duna? in Duna, I be. yeah i said drowning Number one in Duna needs to be of Ingonyama land and you've never okay. lived on Ingonyama land. That's fine. And you have to be of the people. Sure. I can, so how I, would you I, become I, in Duna? I, I go back to Newcastle. I go back to Newcastle. Yes. Or I go back to Impubmen or Igvugen. Yes. I can then, in that space, yes. can grow, right? Okay. Traditionally power, whatever the case is. Correct? Just because you're Zulu. Because I'm Zulu. Anyone can that, grow. Even no, an outsider. Not, not a That's Kosa, not from the Zulu no, nation. A Kosa guy will not have no, access. No, you, you speak about a place where you grew up. No, no. And I'm talking about a place where Umuntu has uh, umlando in. Not just me, but the family. R- regardless of, of your tribe. Me? No, no. Me? Pension. I'm saying you can have umlando in Popomen as yes. a Kosa person. If that person has umlando as in Popomen. As a Kosa person. If that person, ne? if that person who is not a Kosa person, has umland in Pupumin, then that person I believe has access to in Pupumin that closer people might not have. Anyways, the last question yeah. is Uzita uh, Undans in Undima. Yeah. The uh, named after our clan names, Guam mm. um, Your plan for them, having spoken about a Charles, a Harry, a William, a Misuzulu, the leadership of this country, and running a family and the idea of self-development and and what is your plan for your boys am i allowed to say i don't have a plan for them because i don't i really really don't have a plan for them i think umuntu is in a space where i'm building a plan for myself yeah with the whole Puguti, should i work we started back where we talk about those five points mm. should i work on me successfully successfully and i get into these five areas then i can assist them in their five points whatever they may be whatever they may be well those five points being from a physically mentally financially uh, uh, uh. so that they once they are in that great spot they can then plug into what i want what i want is i want a very strong household mm. but before i can get to a strong household i need to get to a strong me mm. so 
once I get to a strong me, assist them as well, then I can get a strong household. You don't have a mandate that they could sell out from? If, if I had a mandate that they could sell out from, I'd try and sell out from that as well. Why? I mean, the, 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 the sell out means which means I'm now in a better space. Is that what selling out means? I would assume so. Why would I sell out to put myself in a worse space or in a similar space? There's something positive about selling out. You there sell out to, to something be. better. Eh? You, or else sell you, out. You, like, you, yes, you, thank or, you. Or else you wouldn't sell out. All sellouts sell out to a better position. Ne? So if I could sell out, rather than wanting them to sell out, then let me sell out. Then let me put myself in a position first so that I can then sell out so that they can assist them in their journeys of selling out. Then my grandkids get to sell out, sell out. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on the panel show today. <laughs> really appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to having you back again soon. No, man, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks to the crew. And thanks um, for even the guys behind the curtain doing all the, the, the editing and things like that. So, Yantanda, guys, you're right. Out. Out. <laughs>